So, Assalamu alaikum to all of you and a very good afternoon. Today is the practice to pass session day four. And in today's class, we are going to discuss topic ratio analysis. Ratios. So, with respect to this topic, you should know how to comment on the ratios of a single company. And how to comment on the ratios of a group. Now, with respect to the single company, you should know this, that what are the factors that distort the comparison between two years or between two companies? So, right now, we are going to list down some of the factors that affect the comparison, that distort the comparison, and that make the comparison meaningless. So, what are the factors? on the basis of which we can say that the comparison is not uh, relevant or you can say the comparison is not accurate. So any idea about it? Like the first factor, if we are comparing between the two years, one is the inflation that distorts the comparison. That could, another point could be Yes, gain or loss on revaluation. Very good. Yes, it could be some one of one of loss or one of gain. Very good. Very good. Aisha. Saying about the revaluation. Any other point? Different capital structure. Like in the previous year, you have got uh, sufficient number of gearing, but in the current year, you have paid more more than the uh, major, major gearing portion, and your gearing is reduced to substantially lower level. So when there is a change in the capital structure, that affects the comparison impact. When we are comparing two companies, different accounting policies can affect the comparison. Different accounting policies. Different accounting policies can affect the comparison. When we are comparing two companies, differences in business policies, 
might affect the comparison. Like two companies, they both work in the leather goods, but one company is selling the goods to the local market, and other company is selling the goods to the international market. The difference between the gross, the definitely there will be difference between their gross profits, the difference between their cash flows, and the timing of the cash flows. So everything will be different. So these are the reason that you should know that why the ratio is increasing or why the ratio is decreasing over the period. And what are the areas that affects the comparison? Any other point that you wanted to add? Like what? It will be a totally invalid comparison if you are comparing the ID business with a manufacturing company. So that's a totally invalid comparison. But if if the company is doing this sort of comparison again, the comparison is invalid. It's about the nature of the business. It's about the different accounting periods. If one company is running from January to December, it's financial year. The other company is work, uh, working from July to June. So the difference in the accounting period can affect the comparison. Now, with respect to the group, examiner will ask you the question either related to the acquisition or related to the disposal. So in case of acquisition, if we acquire the subsidiary in the mid of the year, then we do the consolidation for the controlling period for the income statement items. So p &L will be consolidated only for the controlling period. So in, it includes, assuming that the parent has acquired subsidiary on 1st July, so all the income statement will be consolidated for the period of six months for the subsidiary company. But for the balance sheet, we need to add 100% items. So income statement items is are for a period of six months and we are taking the balance sheet item for a period of, for a complete 100% amount. So that will distort the comparison because there are number of ratios where in the numerator we need to take the profits and in the denominator we need to take the balance sheet related item. So we are taking the balance sheet item with 100% value but for the income statement we are taking only 6 months profit. So this will again start the comparison. Then whenever the company acquired another company, it will definitely affect their liquidity if they have paid in the cash. The liquidity position of this company must be disturbed. Similarly, if you are acquiring a new business, because in the consolidation we have studied that it's not compulsory that the parent and subsidiary must work in the same industry. They can have different and uh, they can have work in different industries so if the parent company is suppose is a manufacturing concern and a subsidiary company is a bank that we have acquired so it will be difficult for the parent company to manage the business of the subsidiary company because it's a new industry so there will be a definitely an impact of the learning curve 
it will take the parent company to understand the business because the parent company will take the, have to take the decisions of the subsidiary company. So it will take time to understand the nature of the business, to understand the business policies and understanding. So these are the issues with the acquisition. Then in case of acquisition, we also need to recognize goodwill on the balance sheet. Whenever the parent company acquires subsidy company. Now here, if previously there was only one company and we are doing the comparison and parent company has acquired another company, B company. So previously there was only one company and now there are the, we, have, we are comparing with the result of the two, two companies. So again, this will make the comparison invalid. Because we have sales of one company here and we are comparing with the sales of the two companies. So what we need to do to make the comparison valid, we need to remove the results of the B company from the data to make the two results comparable. But if previously there is a growth of two or more companies, and now another company has joined the group. So now in this case, we are talking about the acquisition right now. In this case, if the C has different profitability than the rest of the group, then it will affect the overall results of the group. Suppose if the group is earning a profit of 20% in total, but the company that we have acquired is earning a profit of 50%, so it will increase the overall profitability of the group because the C is performing on a different pace. Who is it? Yes, Kevin? Okay. Similarly, if the C is a highly geared company, it will affect the overall gearing of the group as well. Then it will affect the finance cost at the same time as well. So if the acquiring company is performing on the upper side of the group or the lower side of the group, then it will affect the overall results of the group. So you need to highlight that at this point that why the overall growth of the result has substantially changed from the previous year. So it is all because of the subsidiary company that we have acquired during the year. Same is the case with the disposal. Like if you sold a subsidiary after nine months, like from January to December is my financial year, and we have sold the subsidiary on 30th September. So the subsidy was a part of the growth for a period of nine months. So you need to do the consolidation of income statement for the nine months. But when we prepare the balance sheet, you need to remove the results of the subsidy company. So it will be only the parent and the other subsidy that could be consolidated at the end. So again, all the ratios that includes component of income statement of the balance sheet will be disturbed because of this reason that the income statement includes nine months results and the balance sheet does not include any of the component of that subsidy. Generally, when we sold a company, so definitely there will be some cash consideration that you have received, which will improve your liquidity. So your current ratio will be better as compared to the previous year. So this will be the one of the reasons. Secondly, there must be some gain or loss on disposal. That will be recognized in the income statement that has been explained. So that impacts your comparison. Definitely previously we don't have that, that uh, amount of gain or loss. And in the current day we have recognized this gain or loss on the disposal. So definitely it will affect your comparison. Are you guys getting this point? 
Similarly, the impact of the subsidiary that we have sold. So if the subsidiary that we are selling in the current year is a poor performer, then it will improve the overall results of the group because of the fact that the subsidiary was consolidated previously and assuming it's a loss making subsidiary. So that affects the overall profitability of the group. But when we sold that subsidiary, you will see the better results of the group. So why the results is improving because we have sold the loss making company. Similarly, if a highly geared company was sold, so def definitely it will improve the overall uh, gearing of the business that will improve the interest cover that will improve the overall uh, profitability of the business. So you need to highlight the impact of the acquisition and the disposal during the year. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so now let's start working on one of the past paper question with the name mm, The name is Carl Group. So assuming that we all are in the examination hall and we are going to solve the question with the name Carl Group. And so first of all, you should know read the requirement so the first requirement is calculate the gain and loss and disposal of the singer company in the consolidated financial statement of the Carl group so that's a straight four marks so you should know the formula only and you can uh, easily calculate the amount of the gain or loss whatever so it's uh, the gain that we need to calculate from the group perspective so it will give you four marks okay so it's a very easy four marks that you can easily get. Based on the financial statements provided, calculate the following ratios and comment on the financial performance and position of the car group for the year ended on 31 December 2008 and 7. Gross profit margins, operating profit margins, ROC, current ratio and gearing ratio. So we need to calculate five ratios. So if you are if you are allocating one mark for every ratio, so how many marks we have for the comment? Eight. Eight marks. So for eight marks, I think uh, two to three lines per ratio is sufficient enough. So you don't need too much detail, but your comment should not only be based on the facts. It should include some reasoning. So I think out of 20 marks, you can easily get four marks from the calculation of the gain and loss and disposal, four, five marks from the ratio calculation by plus four, nine. And three marks, comment on the sale, sorry, on how the sale of Singer will affect the comparability of the financial statement for the year ended 31 December 2007-2008. So if you will be able to attempt this question, so then you will get how many marks? Three marks from the here, this part, four marks from the first part, and five marks from the second part. So five plus four, plus 12 marks. So if you didn't attempt a single word of the comment, you can easily get 12 marks out of 20. So out of eight marks in the examiner will be able to give you four marks, 
that will be enough for you. So 12 by 4 will be equal to 16 marks. So you can easily pick 15 to 16 marks from this component, from this uh, question. So I think it is again very difficult and impossible for someone to fail in this exam. Unpossible. So, while start reading the question, you need to be very careful because there are some hints that was embedded in the data. So right now we are starting the question at first January 2008. Think about it. There's something that you need to note about first January 2008. First January 2008. And the area it is? The Carl group consisted of the parent company, Carl company, and the two wholly owned subsidies. Wholly owned subsidies mean there is no impact of the NCI. That we have acquired 100% shares of the, and there are two companies actually. There were no intergroup transactions during the year. Okay. The sale of one of its subsidiary, Sinker, was completed on 31st December 2008. When we sold a single company. Okay. So previously we have the parent company and the two subsidiaries. But in the current year, we'll be having the parent company and only one subsidiary for the balance sheet purpose. But for the income statement, we have all the three subsidiaries. Because we have sold at the last date of the financial year. So you need to do the consolidation for the income statement in full but you cannot consolidate the balance sheet even if you sold the asset for the, on the last day so you need to exclude the result of the singer company when we are preparing the balance sheet again the result will become incomparable okay the sale of one of its subsidiary sinker was completed on 31st seven thousand eight when the car was sold its entire holding for 120 million cash 20 million cash will be added in the where Current assets, cash account, no? so it will be added in the current assets. So that will definitely improve the liquidity of the current year, which is 2008. Sinker has net assets of 20 million at the date of disposal, and the sale was not meet the definition of discrete operation and has been correctly accounted for in the consolidated financial statements. Okay. The gain and loss of disposal of the sinker is included in the administration expense. So administration expense has increased over the period. So that is a hint that there must be a loss of disposal rather than gain on disposal. We can do the calculation and we will come to know whether it is a gain or loss. But the examiner has given you the hint that there might, could be a gain or loss. That is a part of the administration expense. So from this paragraph, what are the important information that you should know is that we have sold the subsidiary on the last day of the financial year. So your income statement will be consolidated with the sinker in full, but you cannot consolidate the sinker for the balance sheet purpose. So all the ratios related to income statement and the balance sheet will be disturbed. Then there will be a cash consideration of 20 million that you have received in the current year. That will be the part of current assets. Sinker had a net assets of 29 million at the date of disposal. And we do not need to discuss the discredited operations and the gain and loss is a part of administration expense. Okay. Carl had originally purchased Sinker on 1st January 2002 for 35 million. The fair value of the carrying amount and the carrying amount of net asset of Singer at the date of acquisition was 28 million. Goodwill was considered to be impaired by 70%. Oh my God. Goodwill of the Singer was impaired by 70% at 31st December 2008. So there is an impairment loss that has been charged in the current administration expense. And previously, it will obviously affect the comparison. 
that previously we don't have the impairment loss in the previous year, but currently we have charged impairment loss for for seventy percent of the value of the goodwill. So now you will be able to understand why the administration expense is increasing. Is it clear? So there will be one impact of the gain or loss on disposal in this administration expense, and the other one is impairment loss. Very good. Consolidated current assets, equity, non-current liability, current liability. The majority of the non-government liability is comprised of bank loans. So, whenever you are going to discuss about the gearing, so you should discuss about the bank loans. You should use the word bank loan rather than loan instrument or debentures or loan notes. Sales of the sinker, sales of the sinker represents fourteen percent of the overall group sales. So the ratio of the sinker company is fourteen percent of the group sale. However, in March two thousand eight, sinker lost significant customer contract, resulting in a number of redundancies. Oh my God! So there are two aspects that you need to know this. So first, the sinker has lost its one of the major customer. that means the 14% sales of the group should have to decline because the company has lost its major customer number one the second information is resulting in a number of redundancies so whenever we are going to redundant our employees we need to make the redundancy payments So we need to make a provision for the redundancy according to I S thirty seven. These redundancy costs amounted to fifteen million and are included in the administration expense. So this is the third culprit. Why administration expense is higher, more than almost double as compared to the previous year. So one is. This gain or loss on disposal. The second item is impairment loss, and the third item is redundancy cost, which is fifteen million. Overall, the sinker made a loss of seventeen million. So, what about the group profit? On the group level, we are earning a profit of that includes the loss of the sinker company. so that is the reason in the previous year we are earning a profit of 96 million and now it is 64 million so why why with there is a difference the difference between two these two value is the one of the impact is because of this administration cost and the second is the loss on the disposal sorry loss of the sinker company that is included in the income statement okay The car group manufactures food packets. Okay, oh, no. I just wanted to ask you a question: whether the decision to sell the singer company is a positive decision for the group, or it's a negative decision? It's positive. It's a positive because you have sold the loss-making company, whose goodwill has been impaired by seventy percent. If the goodwill of the business is impairing, that means the business is losing its name, its revenue. its overall image in the in the market so that's it's a, it's a good decision that we are we have sold this sinker company so why we are disposing in the uh, arn and why are going to have the consolidated balance sheet we are disposing it in the arn actually when we prepare the balance sheet at the arn at 31 december 2008 so at this point we don't own that subsidiary So if we have not, uh, if you don't have the shares of that company, if you don't have the control of that company at the A end, we cannot consolidate for the balance sheet purpose. So that's why we need to exclude the results from the balance sheet. Group inventory. Previous year it was seventy-eight, and now it is at 
65. And 31,708 Sinker company had an inventory of 42 million. So does this 42 million has been a part of this inventory or not? No. For the balance sheet purpose, you cannot. So inventory will be reported at the balance sheet now. It's like the inventory included in the above financial position. So, uh, I'm giving you just two minutes to calculate the gain or loss or disposal of sinker company. So, out of this data. Very good. Please, please, please solve it. We have two minutes to solve this question and to calculate the gain of loss in this pool. Eleven thousand one hundred. Wonderful. 
Is it a gain or loss? Loss. It's a loss and disposal. So any one of you wanted me to cal calculate no, your figures? Yes, sir. Yes. Very good. So first of all, we need to see that at the date of acquisition, the net asset was 28 million, and now it is 35 million. Sorry. We have acquired this uh, subsidy for 35 million. So there will be a initially goodwill on the acquisition, which is having a value of 7 million. And out of which 70% has already been impaired. So what will be remaining on? 2.1? 2.1. So the cash that we have received at the time of disposal is 20 million. Less net assets at disposal. Net assets at disposal will be 29 million. Plus unimpaired goodwill. So you need to report the goodwill after the impairment, which is 2.1. And we should deduct NCI, and as we don't have any NCI in this question. So my answer will be 31. 11.1 .1 will be the loss on this thing. This is how okay. Aisha wants me to solve this question on the word. So there are Four marks okay, for the calculation of gain or loss in disposal. Now, the second part is to calculate the gross profit, operating profit, retirement capital employed, current ratio, and gearing ratio. Debt upon debt plus equity. So now we have two minutes to solve these ratios. So, how we solve these ratios in the world? By making a table. Okay, from this insert column, always make a table for you need to calculate five ratios and select four columns that will be enough for so the first ratio is the name of this column is ratios formula 2007-2008 It's not that compulsory, but if you make this formula column, that is that will be great. Gross profit ratio. That's the name. The formula will be gross profit upon sales multiply by hundred. Now for this year, the gross profit is. One thirty two point two seventy two. One thirty two divided by two seventy two multiply by hundred. We will get the answer. Forty eight point five percent. What about this year? One twenty four divided by two eighty nine. Multiply 100 will give you the answer of 40.9%. Very good. That's done. Operating profit ratio. P 
PVID of bond sales. Operating profit 96 of bond. Equals 35.3%. For this year, 64 divided by 289 multiplied by 100 is equals to 22.1 percent. ROC return on capital employed. So it's PB idea on capital employed. PV ID is 96 divided by capital employed. Equity plus non liability, 578 plus 150. <coughs> 578 plus 150. Thirteen point two percent. Very good. The next is sixty-four divided by two six twenty-one plus hundred. Six twenty-one plus hundred multiply by hundred will give you the answer of eight point nine percent. Very good. So the next ratio is we need to calculate the current ratios after this. Yes, current ratio. Current asset divided by current liability. So the formula will be for 2007, it is 125 upon 161. Very good, 0 0.78 ratio one. For the current year, it is 112 divided by 36. 3.1. Gaining that divided by the formula is gearing one fifty divided by one fifty divided by. Seven five seventy eight plus one fifty. Zero point two one. Zero point It is now thirteen. 
Is it clear now? The first thing that you should know while commenting on a question is that whether the sales of the business has increased over the period or it has reduced. The sale has increased from 272 to 289. So the sale has increased. No, you always take long term loan, but if the long term loan was partly classified into current liability, then it could be added. So the sale has reduced from increase from 272 to 289. So you need to identify the reason that why the sale has increased over the year, despite of the fact that Sinker Company has lost a significant customer. So that means the Sinker Company's revenue must be declined in the current year. Like they have lost their major customer in just the March, means in the third month of the financial year. So definitely till the year end, their, their revenue must be declined over the year. So why the overall revenue has increased? Yes. So it is actually the parent company or the other members of the group who is performing well. So. That could be the reason for the increase in this revenue. So please write something about this. Please write something about the sales. Now, why the sales has increased over the year? Please write something. Thank you. 
Yes, is it done? Any one of you wanted to read? Would you like to read? Yes. Revenue has increased from 272 million to 289 million, despite of the fact that single company lost a significant customer. This could Very be good. the contribution of parents or other subsidiaries' better performance in the following year, leading to higher revenue opportunities. Which compensates the impact of the uh, sinker's revenue. Sadia wants you to read. Okay. Any brother on the last seat? Okay, it's fine. So the, the main point that you need to tell the examiner is that why the revenue has increased. So it is actually because of the parent company and the other subsidiary who, who definitely performs well and that increases the overall revenue of the business and which in fact uh, ultimately compensated the loss in the revenue because of the loss of the major customer. So the singer company, that's it. What about the gross profits? The gross profit has also declined. So you can connect this point with the revenue that despite the increase in the revenue, there is a decrease in the gross profit. And then we need to write something about why the gross profit ratio is decreasing. Write something. So the answer should be based on the cost of sales. Why the gross profit is decreasing? despite of the increase in the revenue. Worsen in the current year. Whose cost management plan? We need to identify. It's just normal, you're not saying. Uh, we can just use the word decline.
So, despite of the fact that the sale has increased over the year by 6.2 percent. Whereas the cost of sales was increased by 17.8 percent. So the difference, the decline in the gross profit ratio is due to the increase in the cost of sales. Which has increased by 17% as compared to the previous year. And the reason of this could be the poor performance of the sinker company. Yes, the poor performance of the sinker company. Remember this point that whenever there is an increase in the revenue, but there is a decrease in the gross profit ratio. So one of the possible reasons could be that the company has reduced the selling price in order to increase the market share, or it could be the change in the sales mix. Like company has some uh, products having more profitable uh, growth profit ratio, or and secondly, the company has some products having less growth profit ratio. So sometimes the lesser profitable products sold more in the current year as compared to the more profitable product. That's called the change in the sales mix. So if there's a change in the sales mix, then you will see the result that where we have an increase in the sales, but there is a decrease in the gross profit. So this could be one of the reasons. So the increase in the... Now, starting from this scratch. As part of the fact there is an increase in the revenue, the gross profit has reduced by which what percentage? 5.6 percent. So that is difference could be the increase in the cost of sales over the year, which could be due to poor performance of the singer company, or there could be a change in the sales mix over the year. Like company has two products. I'm explaining the sales mix sound again. This product is giving us 25% profit and this product is giving us 5% profit. So when we sold and they both have same value, market value, but this is a less profitable product and this is more profitable product. So in this case, if we sold this product more than this product, then the overall sales of the business will decline. But if in a current year we sold this product more than the this year, this product, if A is selling more than the B, then you will see a, a major increase in the profitability. So it's about, about the sales make that which type of product you are selling more in the current year. Is it clear? So next paragraph should be on the basis of operating profit ratio, which is also reduced but it is more than the gross profit actually because the gross profit is reduced by 5.6 percent but the gross profit by 13-14 percent has it declined So why the gross profit, why the operating profit margin has declined over a year? Because of, very good, admin expenses. 
which is reduced because of the redundancy cost. Very good. Impairment loss in the current year and loss of disposal. Very good. And another reason could be as sinker is a, itself is a loss making entity. It is mentioned here in the paragraph. As you can see, this is the last line that the sinker has made an operating loss of 17 million in addition to the loss of on disposal. Sinker company is making a loss of 17 million. So these are the reasons for the. So remember this point that the operating profit ratio, when there is a decrease in the gross profit ratio, so definitely there will be a decrease in the operating. The impact will be shifted towards the operating profit ratio as well. And it's further decline because of these factors. So now we are moving towards ROC. Okay, Aisha was asking about the question that should we not detect the subsidiary result? Because in this case, we don't have information about the subsidiary company's data individually. So we do not need to remove the result of the subsidiary company right now here. So you simply need to, because previously we do have this subsidiary in the books and the current year, we also have this book, uh, subsidiary in the books. So it is actually the balance sheet where the assets and liabilities of the Singer company has been removed. So this will happen in the case when we have acquired a company that was not previously available. So in order to make the two results comparable, you need to remove the results of the company that we have acquired during the year. But for which you will be provided separate information about that company. So the next is about the ROC. ROC has also reduced by 13.2%. Eight point nine percent. So one of the reasons for decline in the ROC is due to one of the reasons for the decline in the ROC is due to the decrease in the operating profit ratio, actually. But in fact, these two ratios are not comparable. Because of the fact that in the denominator of 2008, we don't have the results of the Singer company. So these two results are not actually comparable. So, in order to make these two results comparable, First, you need to adjust the profit. So right now the reported profit is 64. So when we add back these figures, which was not previously available, like impairment loss, redundancy cost, and the loss on disposal. Then do the calculation, what will be the revised ROC? 64. Yeah. <laughs> 
मिलियन प्लस इलेवन प्लस फोर पॉइंट नाइन एंड इट शुड ऑल्सो बी इंक्लूडेड इन दैट डिनोमिनेटर इज वेल इलेवन पॉइंट वन इट्स इलेवन पॉइंट वन So what's the rise RSC? RSC divide will be calculated as seventeen plus eleven plus four point nine plus sixty four. Divided by six twenty one plus seventeen plus eleven plus four point nine plus hundred. The answer should be. It is twelve point. Which is now more in line. Thirteen point two to twelve point nine. So these are the basically possible reasons which affects the profitability of the group, and that is the reason the overall ROC has declined significantly. Is it clear? Impairment, hum, always of the goodwill will always be recognized as administration expense. Yes. Water. Actually, these are the items which was not previously available in the previous year's income statement. So that makes the two years incomparable. So to to make these two ratios comparable, we just add back all these figures, and definitely, if it increases the revenue, it will also increase your capital employed. Because when your profit increases, it will increase your retain earnings, and which is in the denominator. So that's why we add back these figures, same in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So the next ratio is about the current ratio, from three point one to zero point seven eight. Why this ratio has increased substantially as compared to the previous year? So that's that's the part of the current asset. No? The current asset, if it is reduced, it will definitely impact on the negative on the. Yes. So, if we remove the current assets, inventory from the current asset, that will 
understate the current assets, resulting in the understatement of the current ratio. Right now, it has improved from seven point one to three point one. So the reason could be if the current ratio has increased over the year, so there could be increase in the current assets or decrease in the current liability. <laughs> so first, you need to tell why the current assets has increased over the year. It's the cash received. On the disposal of sinker, which is approximately twenty million, and definitely there will be a decline in the current liability. So we need to see what type of liabilities are. Yes, you can see here the current liability has reduced from one sixty one to just thirty six. so the possible reasons could be that these liabilities are for the sinker company that goes out of the balance sheet with the sinker or some of the liabilities of the car company has been paid off from the current assets or the cash that we have received from the disposal of the sinker so that is the reason there is a substantial Reduction in the current liability. No, it's not about the comparison. It's about why the current ratio has declined over the year. Is it clear? So, anyone of you wanted to read the answer? Sajid. no so the, the last ratio is the gearing ratio so the gearing ratio has reduced from 21 to 13.9 percent 21 to 13.9 percent So our bank loans has also reduced by one fifty to hundred. So the again the reason for the decline in the long term loan could be 
that this 50 is related to the singer company yes so previously it was 115 now it's 100 so the part of the liability that was related singer was gone on the balance sheet Okay, whether our capital employed has also increased over the year. Previously, first 578 plus 150, and now it's Is it clear? That? So the final after doing commenting on each and every ratio for two to three lines, you need to conclude that in which sector the company is performing good right now and which are the sector that needs the consideration. And secondly, whether the decision to sell the singer company is positive for the business or it is on the negative side, that is all you need to tell the examiner. And last point is comment on how the sale of the singer will affect the comparability. Comparability, so the answer is very simple. When we sell a subsidiary company, it will be removed from the balance sheet. So the balance sheet of two years are not comparable. Like previously we have Carl company plus two subsidies. But now we have only the Carl company plus one subsidy in the balance sheet. So the results are not comparable. But for the income statement, we have Carl plus two and Carl plus two in both the years because we have sold at the last date of the financial year. But Every ratio that includes PL and balance sheet items will be affected and will not be used for the comparison purpose because it is going to affect the comparability. So if anything related to the balance sheet will be incomparable and anything related to PL balance sheet will be incomparable. Income statement items can be comparable, but there is a loss on disposal. That was not available in the previous year's income statement of 11.1 million. That distorts the comparison. And also, there is a redundancy cost that will affect the comparison. So, this is all about the answer of this question. Comment on how, please, comment on how the sale of the sinker will affect the comparability of the consolidated financial statement for the LNA 31st, 7, and 8. And you need to give only three points, three valid points, you will get three marks. That's it. So it's my request for all of you to please do read this question again at home and try to solve it on the constructive response workspace. That is very important for you. And this, uh, it's my intuition that examiner can ask this type of question again in the examination. It's a very favorite area of, of the examiner that you need to know the impact of the disposal of the subsidy. So there are in a in the sequence of three to four questions that was related to the disposal of subsidy. Right now we are taking a break of 10 minutes. We will start again after at 10 15, 2 15. It's approximately. 14 minutes.
So before the break, we have done question from September December attempt pass paper. Right now we are going to start the question from September December twenty one. Have you all done this MIMS question yeah. and party? Party? No. Print company, sorry. That was the print. Party was already done. Pinari group. Okay, when you see the question, you you will find the overall structure remains same. Most mostly the data remains the same. In fact, the structure of the data. So the first requirement is calculate the gain on disposal of the silver company that would need to be included in the consolidated profit loss. So now we are not working on it right now. It's it carry two marks. Explain whether or not the disposal of the silver is likely to discontinue, continue discontinued operations, and the correct accounting treatment for this. So that's the portion of IFRS five. And then calculate again the similar type of ratios: gross profit, operating profit, interest cover, and inventory turnover. And finally, you need to analyze the performance. Okay, Dee. So, right now we are going to start reading this question. The Nordic Group operates in a fragrance and cosmetic industry. Hmm. On first January two thousand seven, the Nordic Group disposed of one of its subsidiaries. Again, this is a case of disposal of the subsidy, but right now we are selling it on first January. So my errand is. So, in the previous year, we must have the subsidy in all our results in both the income statement balance sheet. But in two thousand seven, neither the income statement item should be included, nor the balance sheet items, because we sold this company at the. Start of the first, or start of the year. We don't need to do the consolidation for the income statement in this case. For forty-two million cash, so it should be the part of the current assets that will improve the liquidity position. Similar type of question. Silver manufactures jewelry. So now they both have been working in a different industry. 
So one is a fragrance and cosmetic industry. They are complementary, but they are different. different. Manufacturer Julian sold because and was sold because of the Panadi Group want to exit this particular sector. So the group wanted to exit from this jewelry sector. So that's why the parent has sold the subsidiary company with the name Silva. Now, what about the results? As you can see, there is a decline in the revenue. So definitely, previously we had Silva company. Now in this year, we don't have the result of Silva. So definitely, the revenue will decline. But the profit increases as compared to the previous year. That tells us about the cost structure. So definitely, Silva uh, could be a low profit-making company. Operating expenses has declined, operating profit margins, finance cost has reduced, but profit has almost doubled in value. Inventory has reduced, cash balance has increased, and non credit liability has reduced over the years. An assistant accountant, an accounting assistant, <coughs> has not accounted for the silver as discounted operation. Because the disposal occurred on 1st January 2007. No figures from the Silva have been included in 2007. So, as, as basically Silva is a separate major line of the business. So, it should be uh, recorded as a discontinued operation. <coughs> but what we do for the discontinued operations according to IFRS 5? What we do for the discontinued operations? We need to report the results separately. From the normal continued operation, it should be reported separately. But as in 2007, we don't have the result of the Silva company. So we don't need to show the result of the Silva company in 2007. But for comparison purpose in 2006, you need to report Silva company result in 2006 separately from the rest of the group. So the income statement in 2006 will be uh, prepared like this that uh, starting from the revenue you need to report all the results of the continued operations and the uh, results of the discontinued operations should be disclosed separately. No figures from the Silva. No, but Okay, the next part is no figures from the Silva has been included in 2007. Financial statement extracts above. The proceeds on the disposal have been recorded in cash with all the assets and goodwill de recognized. The balancing figure was in a suspense account. So, what is the balancing figure? It is definitely the gain or loss on disposal. Pinardi acquired 100% of the Silva companies on 1st January 2001. And the goodwill was calculated as 6 million. The goodwill has been impaired by 30% 30, 30 in 2005. And the net assets at 1st January 2007 were 35 million. So this is the data information was provided to you for the calculation of gain or loss and disposal. As a part of the sale agreement, Pinardi Group will receive an annual fees of 2 million for the use of the Silva's brand, company's brand. <coughs> the 2007 annual fees have been included in the Pranadi Group's revenue for the year ended 31st December 2007. So as the Pranadi Group the Pranadi Group will receive an annual fees of 2 million for the use of Silva's company's brand. Okay, as a resulting results obtained from the Silva company's individual published financial statement were as follows. 2006, Silva's revenue was 36,000 and now it has improved to 39,000. So this 39,000 was not a part of the group sales right now. <coughs> so what they want to make the two results comparable, 
you need to remove the result of the silva company from the previous error as well to make the two results comparable that's the gross profit operating profit from the margins prior to disposal come disposal silva company used uh, used to use some used to use yes used to use some property belonging to canadi group Following the disposal of Canadi Group, move its cosmetic division into this property. So Silva should have to bear the cost in the future for the new property. Previously, the cosmetic division had leased external facilities for two point five million a year. So you are paying two point five million a year to lease the property. On first January two thousand seven, the lease had a ten years remaining life. So for the next ten years, you need to make a payment of two point five million per annum. To exit the lease, the Pinardi Group made a one-off payment of three million to the lesser and recorded it as an operating expense. <coughs> so as they wanted to exit from this particular agreement, so they have to make the payment of three million. So it is beneficial for the company to get exit from this lease agreement. Yes. Because just you are just paying one of three million amount, but if you continue with this agreement, you need to pay two point five million for the next ten years. So it will uh, it will give the huge amount of saving to the Pinardi Group in the future. The Pinardi Group acquire the raw material from the overseas. In that sense, the group recorded a foreign exchange loss of gain of three million. <coughs> And in term seven, the group made a foreign exchange loss of one million. So the results are quite fluctuating. So previously we suffered a loss in the foreign exchange, and now we are uh, gain some, and now there is a loss. So when we compare the two results, so previously there is a one of gain of three million income 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 statement, and now there is a loss of one million. So these two figures will make the comparisons in balance. Both items are recognized as operating expense. So it is actually the operating expense which has some issues. The first one is there is a loss on disposal in the current year, and previously there was a gain in the operating expense, and also there is a one-off payment of three million in the operating expense. And that's it. Can you write something about? the movement in the revenue so why the revenue has decreased over the year so can you calculate the difference between the revenues of the two years so 122 400 minus 98300 On an overall basis, there is a decline in the revenue by twenty-four thousand one hundred. <coughs> okay, so to make the two results comparable, we need to remove the results of the Silva Company's revenue from the total revenue. That's thirty-six thousand. So, if you remove thirty-six thousand from two thousand six revenue, thirty-six four hundred. So, it is eighty-six four hundred. So from eighty six four hundred to actually ninety eight thousand three hundred. So actually there is an increase in the revenue over the year. So who is responsible for the increase in the revenue by eleven thousand nine hundred? Are you guys getting this point? Like previously we don't have Silva Company, so my revenue right now is ninety eight thousand three hundred. That does not include Silva. Previously, one for in the one twenty two four hundred result, we have Silva number. That is with Silva. That's the reason we cannot compare these two revenues. So what we are doing is to remove the previous year Silva results to make the two results comparable. So it's eighty six thousand four hundred. So our revenue has increased over the year from. By eleven thousand. So, who is responsible for this? Why we? 
are getting this. Yes, there must be improvement in the uh, overall growth revenue that includes the revenue of the fragrance and the cosmetics. Is there any hint about the sales in the notes? Yes, there is an annual fees of 2 million, but that was also included in the revenue for the year 2007. And anything, no, it's not related to sales. So on overall basis, the sales are reduced. So what is the possible reason for the change in the sales from 122, 400 to 98,300? So the possible reason could be the disposal of silver company. And we do not include silver as revenue in the current years, p &L. So to make these two results comparable, uh, when we deduct silver's 2006 revenue from the overall revenue, then we find that there is an increase in the sales by 11,900. And this could be the, why? Why it's increasing? Increase in the fragrance and cosmetics revenue. Yes, sir. Yes. So, no, it's saying as the as a part of the sale agreement, Minardi Group will receive an annual fees of two million for the use of the silver brand. Two thousand seven annual fee has been included in the annual fee in Minardi Group's revenue. So actually, Pinardi Group has sold the Silva business and subsequently, Silva company can use the brand name of the Pinardi Group. And that's why they are selling, uh, they are paying a fees of 2 million to the group. So group is actually... Will we eliminate this from like 2000 revenue because the revenue is a contribution generating for them? Maybe just compared to its side. No, it, just like it, other income type you compare. Yes, it it is a one off income, so we need to adjust this figure as well to make the two years comparable. No, no, no. As a part of the sale, it's a part of the sale agreement. So one of the brand name of the Pinardi group has been used by the Silva company and that's why Silva company will pay an amount of 2 million fee as an annual fee. Yes. So it also needs to be adjusted for the purpose of comparison. So please write something about the revenue. It's better to write your answer in short uh, paragraph. Or you can you can just write your answer in points that's not the question. Yes, sir. Yes, 
Yes, is it done? <laughs> it's about the revenue. <laughs> So, yes. sir, eliminate the revenue. So, net of impact, net of increase will be of 9,900. 9,900. Yes. 2 million disposable. Yes. After this Now. Now. When we remove the impacts from 2006, the revenue has increased over the year. Yes. So right now I'm going to read the answer of the examiner. So I just wanted to knew, know from you guys that whether it is difficult for you to produce this type of answer in the examination. So I'm just reading the question, the answer first. The overall revenue is down by 24 million, which may be largely due to the disposal of the silver, which was in 2006 results, but contributed no revenue in 2007. Last year, Silva contributed 36 million in revenue. Removing this from the 2006 results shows that there has been a like for like comparison, an increase of 11.9 million from the fragrance and the cosmetic division. So I don't think so that producing this amount of uh, answer in the examination is that difficult. And, and you can just check the size of the answer. You don't need to write the full page about to justify why revenue has increased, why revenue has decreased. For the operating graph profit, they have just written this three lines. <laughs> the graph profit is significantly, is up significantly from 2006 to 2007, from 50, 41 to 52 percent. We can see that the gross profit margin of Silva company in 2006 was only 35%. So the other part of the group were able to generate high gross profit margins historically. That's it. I don't think so. It's difficult. The operating profit margin has increased. Although not quite as dramatically as increase in the gross profit margins. In fact, the operating expenses have decreased by 3.7 million. Despite 24.1 million decrease in the revenue, there were some factors to consider within the operating expense for 2007. There is a one-off exit fee of 3 million from the for the cosmetic division to exist the lead, exit the lease. While this is expensive, the division would have been paying 25 million over the 10 years. So it will ultimately save a significant amount of money. <coughs> In addition to this, the effect of the foreign exchange gains and losses are included in the operating expense. So in 2006, there was a gain of 3 million and in 2007, there was a loss of 1 million. And which will be reduced, which will have reduced the profits. This shows that the Penardi group has quite large exposure to the 
foreign currency risk. And then they will move on towards the interest flow. And okay. Examiner has accepted that from the scenario that there are some other comments that the students can make and they will get the marks. Other comments which the candidates will produce with which could uh, be given the marks. So in this case, there will be a there will be a two million discussion about the two million fees that we were talking about. And there are some points which the examiner has not yet covered in the answer. So there are other points that you, if you will add these points, you will get the marks. So I don't think so that getting 15 out of 20 from this question is difficult because the most of the uh, marks will be allocated almost 40 to 50% marks is allocated for the calculations and the re remaining 40% marks of the total will be allocated to the comment section. So out of that 40%, if you can get, you will be able to get 50%, that will be more than enough for you. And inshallah, you will get more than that marks. So I think we have only four minutes left. So today is, is Saturday, 27th of August. Tomorrow, we are, I'm going to make a list of topics that you, the first candidates, it is a consolidated balance sheet. Who wants me to revise basic EPS? The diluted EPS is clear. Basic and diluted both. Areas of concern. Mm. Now, okay, so Aisha wants me to tell something about the conclusion. Marks awarded for the sensible conclusion. While silver does generate profits, please, please, the disposal seems to have been a good move. Silver results have actually improved since the disposal, showing it is not a struggling business. The additional focus on the remaining division has generated more profit for the Pinardi group, particularly now the cosmetic division is utilizing the group property and no longer require the lease premises. So what is the strategy of the Pinardi group is to focus more on the cosmetics and the fragrance business rather than working on the jewelry business. So they just get exit from the jewelry business and try to make, uh, make their focus on. Uh, yes, it seems to have a good one because their profitability has increased over the period. When we sold the silver, their profitability has improved. So that is the reason they are saying that selling the silver is a good move for the company. So this is how you need to write the conclusion. That's it. It's not a lot of Area of concern, if the examiner has asked you about the area of the concern, so you need to write information about this decision that whether to sell this company or not, and the information is provided not provided to you. For example, if we sell the particular business, then what will be the impact, future impact on the business? We are selling, for example, this company at the air end. So in this case, you can easily find uh, the results that when we sell the silver, the overall profitability has improved. 
So if you not be provided this type of information, then uh, that's an area of concern that you need to know that what will be the impact of the disposal in the future. So these are the areas that you should know. Uh, and the reason for the disposal for this particular company, if the profit or loss on the uh, disposal company is not available. So you need to highlight only those areas which inform for which the information is not available. And you think that this information should be given to us before making the final decision about the sale. So this is all you need to write in the readers. Okay. So tomorrow we'll be covering about impairment. Sale and release back. What? Huh? I first heard. Anything else? Any other information? Cash flow. I Why are you saying? So these are the areas. Inshallah, I will try to cover in tomorrow's class. I have to take the picture at first. Tomorrow, we'll be having a class at 2, two to 6. Between 2 to 6 and at 6, 4 hours. And at 7 p.m. sharp, we will watch a match between Pakistan and versus. Is it Dubai? Yes, sir. So thank you so much for today.